Welcome back to the Ken's Log Channel. Today I'm making a video response uh, to Interghost Community questions. Uh, what arcade video games did you play and where did you play them? Uh, so I got them written down in case I forget, but I'm going to try to do this all by memory. Um, first place I ever remember playing an arcade game was at an arcade in uh, Seaside, Oregon. And uh, they had lots of different games there. But uh, I always played, uh, you know, the basketball where you get all these points and then uh, it spits out tickets, you know, so you can go buy Chinese army men. Uh, and then uh, the next thing I fell in love with probably when I was about five or six was ski ball. Oh, my God. I got so good at ski ball, you know, hitting the side, getting it right in the, you know, the top center one. Uh, made a lot of tickets off of that. Got fat off candy bars. Um, because of it, but uh, the exercise from ski ball helped. Uh, let's see, and then of course, you know, uh, after that, Pac Man came out and um, Asteroids came out, Space Invaders, Berserk, uh, you know, all those games. Centipede, that was one of my favorites to play. Get over there, Jim, get you! Uh, and then, uh, let's see. Pole position. I really liked pole position. I played pole position everywhere it was available. Um, and in my area, it was available at a pizza place. Uh, and it was available at the arcade. And then it was also available up at a shopping center we went to. Uh, so I got to play that there. Um, and then Operation Wolf. That was one of my favorites for a while. Uh, and then, let's see, what else was there? Uh, my good Whack-a-mole, you guys remember Whack-a-mole? Uh, it was pretty archaic. It was spring-based and uh, piston-driven. It was uh, pretty bad. It was not electric like it is today. Uh, mini golf, uh, a lot of the arcades came out with mini golf, so uh, the arcade I went to came out with it. It was pretty fun. Uh, I don't remember the sit-down driving game name that they first came out. It was a huge cabinet had two chairs, and it was a uh, you know, a two-player game on a single screen in front of you, and then they got the, the multiple screens after, or maybe it was before, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you would uh, you'd sit in these chairs and you'd have to sh literally shift and, you know, all that stuff. Qbert, um, the arm wrestling machine, remember when the arm wrestling machine came out? I love that thing. That was kind of later. I wouldn't say I was still a kid, but uh, uh, maybe 15, 16 came out, but I really liked it. I always got the super challenge. Thought I was so cool. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Street Fighter, you know, later on down the line. And then I found, and I've told you guys this before, Ivan Stewart's uh, Off-Road. Uh, I could play that game for hours on one quarter um, because it, uh, if you won uh, or got second, uh, you can get second every once in a while, it seems. Um, but uh, <clears throat> if you won, you would get to continue on to the next race, and I would always win because I knew how to use my nitros at the right time, you know? This was a, a stand-up machine, and it had four stands around it, red, yellow, white, and blue. Uh, and, uh, you know, you had just your gas pedal, there's no brake. Obviously, if you got uh, stuck in the corner, you just had to turn around right there. Um, but that was a pretty cool game. And then... The places that I played it were, we had that pizza place, we had a bowling alley, uh, which really had just generic stuff, Pac-Man, Asteroids, things like that. Um, but the bowling alley had the very first claw machine. I was addicted to that thing. I spent hundreds of dollars on that thing and, and to win stuffed animals. Uh, what am I gonna do with stuffed animals? I don't know. But I did it because it was fun and it was challenging. But now we all know those things are rigged, so I don't waste my money on them. Um, but I played pool a lot at the local bars, you know, before, I think it was 9 o'clock at night, kids had to be out of their bike. Um, let's see, oh, I remember one time I was like 10, something like that. I stole my parents' last $5, and I went to the local uh, uh, convenience store. And I spent all the $5 on Mike Tyson punch out. And I didn't win the game. And when my parents found out, they beat my ass. So that was pretty bad. Um, 
Yeah, don't steal your parents' money to go play video games. Bad idea. Um, but uh, yeah, that was my history of, uh, of arcade gaming. Um, oh, and uh, when I would go school clothes shopping with my mom, we'd go up to a town probably 80 miles away to this mall. And inside the mall was an arcade. And instead of taking me shopping, listen to me bitch and complain about having to try on clothes, which was ridiculous because she knew my sizes and all I wore was t-shirts and jeans, you know, or, you know, sometimes hickory shirts or whatever. Uh, but she knew my size, so it was like pointless for me to go. So she would just give me like 10 bucks or something and I would sit in the arcade for four or five hours while they went shopping. So it worked out, uh, I think it worked out well for everybody. <laughs> that arcade was fun. It had everything. Everything you could think of. It had everything. Good game. Talk to you guys later.